let's see, Lee, socialists like Wolf talk about freedom being at the core of the ideology, which is contradictory. How do they ever even come around to such a position? Well, wow, Thomas, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting free market capitalism. Uh, well, I do it out of completely self-interested motivations, but thank you, Thomas, for supporting this show and supporting my efforts to uh, bring free market capitalism to the world. Um, why does the left use freedom? Well, because they understand it completely differently. To them, freedom means freedom from um, the constraints of nature. And, and, and the honest socialists understand that you cannot, you know, so, so, so free, for example, they often say you can't be free on an empty, on a, on an empty stomach. So freedom means having the means to do whatever the hell you feel like doing. Freedom is about satisfying your whims. And if you can't satisfy your whims, because other people are preventing you by not giving you their stuff, then you're not free. So freedom is freedom from reality. Freedom is... Um, It's a freedom unmoored from reality. As you think about why the objectivists, uh, why are we pro-freedom? We're pro-freedom because we have a particular view of the individual. We have a particular view of what it requires for an individual to survive and to thrive, use his mind, and be able to act on his own judgment. And to be free means to be free to use your mind, to act on your judgment. That's what human life requires. And therefore, you must be free so that you can live a good life. Freedom is not the starting point. This is not the, the, the uh, uh, non-initiation of force, you know, the non-aggression principle of the libertarians. Freedom is necessary because we are, man is a rational being. Freedom is necessary because we hold an egoistic morality where the standard is man's life. If you don't hold an egoistic morality, then freedom is not necessarily moral or right. But freedom is such a lovely word that everybody wants it. Everybody wants to be associated with it. So what the socialists have taken that idea of freedom, that idea of freedom to pursue your values, to live your life, and said, you can only be free if you have all this other stuff. And you, you can't, you know, and since the employer-employee relationship is a relationship that oppresses, employees cannot be free. Since poor people don't have cars and don't have, can't fly planes and can't get a big screen TV and they can't eat at three star Michelin restaurants, they're not free. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do that they can do. You're oppressing them. They, they want to eat at the same restaurants you do. So they distort and pervert the concept of freedom to make the producer, the real individualist, the real advocate for freedom, the bad guy. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brook Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.